Are your students referring to each other as sus? Are you interested in learning about Among Us, but you're not really sure where to get started? Stay tuned. Over the weekend, I recorded a tutorial on how to play Among Us because I know a lot of teachers are interested in the game since their students are playing it. But I realized how to play the game is not the same as why should I be playing the game? So I decided to make my vlog just why are teachers interested in Among Us? Why are students interested in it? And how we can use it to connect with our students right now when the typical ways that we connect with students aren't available. So, in a gist, Among Us is a game where 10 players are on a spaceship that is breaking down and crashing. The goal? Fix the ship. Unfortunately, one of the 10 players has randomly been selected to be an imposter. In the story of the game, that imposter is actually an alien that has taken over the player. So while nine players are trying to fix the ship, one player is trying to break the ship, and that player that is the imposter is also trying to kill off the crewmates. So the goal is for the crewmates to figure out who the imposter is before they die and before the ship crashes. So here's where the connection comes in, kind of. There is a lot of good communication lessons, detective work lessons, inferring clues, all of these good things. So the communication is the biggest thing. There is almost no communication in the game. There's no video chat, there's no audio chat. There is only a text chat. And that text chat only opens when a body has been declared dead. Can't talk the whole game. So you can't tell if someone is suspicious. In the game, they refer to it as a sus because SUS is a lot faster to type out. So that's where your students are sometimes calling each other sus. It's short for suspicious, which is short for imposter. So that's the first thing. The communication is the biggest thing. The second thing is just that social aspect of playing this game. We are social distancing right now. We are not playing basketball at lunchtime. We are not playing chess as an after school club. We need ways to connect to our students. This game, they're all playing it. So why not use it to our advantage and play with them? You can set up a private game, just you and your students. I've seen some teachers actually start a Zoom call at the same time because that adds in another aspect, watching facial expressions. You've heard the expression poker face? It's really interesting to watch Among Us faces. So try it out, play with your students, play with your teammates. I could tell you right now that there are some teacher groups where they just set up games to play with the teachers just so that those teachers can learn about the game and what their students are doing. So if you don't want to play with your students because of privacy and school policies or whatever other reasons, and please check with your school before playing video games with your kids because some schools do have policies against it, go to Twitter. Go to hashtag esportedu and you will find a lot of teachers playing video games for educational purposes, and you can connect with them and learn about these games. Among Us is not the only game that's being used in school. It's just the current craze. So check out the other games, connect with teachers that are playing sports and esports, because you're gonna find a lot of interesting ways to connect it to the students, to give them that engagement and everything that they are currently missing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. If you want to leave a comment with videos that you want me to make, so any tutorials that you're interested in, leave a comment below and let me know. If you didn't watch the How to Play Among Us and you're interested in it, check it out over here. It's about nine minutes long, but you can fast forward through parts. I tried to make it compact, but have as much in it as I could. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.